Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Henry Charlie. Uh, in this video, I want to tell you about Port St. John's, another side of the Eastern Cape. I mean, this place is actually very, very, very nice. I mean, this is one of the places that I've been to, which I really love and I would love to go back again. So I'll be taking you through to uh, the whole journey. And also, I just want to say thank you, big thank you to Eastern Cape Tourism for making this possible. I mean, when the opportunity came, I couldn't, I couldn't say no, because I've always wanted to go to Eastern Cape uh, to check the locations uh, for my movies. But yeah, when the opportunity came, I was like, yeah, why not? Let me, I'll just check the Eastern Cape and just see how it looks. And Port St. John was one of the places they suggested, and then we decided to go to Port St. John. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, 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 go. So I was traveling with two people, Nopilo Glamini and Tobeka Glamini But I just slide right by that energy Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go so after taking the car, we then we started driving to Port St. John. So driving to Port St. John was very nice drive uh, on the white coast. It was, I, I enjoyed it. When we got to the location I was staying, you know, when you see the the outside of the, the place, you probably think, you know, there's really not much inside. But when you get inside, that's when you're going to see how nice and beautiful the nature reserve is. We woke up early because we wanted to get the sun, the the sunrise. Uh, oh my God, the sunrise was so beautiful. Like just the sunrise, but the beach was very nice. I took a lot of photos. It was just very nice. <laughs> the sunrise and we decided to you know okay let's go have breakfast and also meet our hey, tour guide it's another day a very good morning sun is out actually we'll be out basically now we'll start here at steve's for breakfast then after breakfast when we finished the breakfast we're heading to uh, our rock pools emma dagini called the Mgazan. We can get that him. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we just finished having a breakfast at uh, Steve Pub and restaurant. It was nice breakfast. It was I enjoyed it. And yeah, so the next location we're going now is um, Mamed Pool. So I'll show you guys there. So yeah, let's go. Right, uh, right now, this is Madagin, we call it M Gazan, uh, all the way from Port St. John's uh, town. Then now, basically, it's like a nature reserve. Then now, we are coming around here to see the rock pools. This is Beni, we call it, just to see how it looks, how it is. 
then if you have a chance they will swim it's a good thing to see and which is rare you won't find it anywhere Uh, here, <clears throat> these are the mammoth pool or rock pools, but we call it Esisben. Like Esisben, it's where you find some kids playing around here. Uh, this is the first one. There's another one on the other side. There's another big one on the other side. We all have time to swim here and just lay around, have fun. Uh, sometimes the fishermen will come around and uh, we enjoy our fish. The houses are near here. We can cook our fish there, come back here, just sit down, uh, have time, uh, have our fishes around here. <coughs> now, uh, we are up here now. This is on the other side. That is another pool, as you see down there. The ladies uh, just having fun, taking beautiful photos. There's another one down there. Yeah, it is. Look at this. This is something nice. This is something natural. This is something beautiful. Um, you can see when the tide is high, the, the, the seawater keeps on coming, and uh, the keeps waters keep on coming inside. Then it's like filtration, something like that. The waters keep on coming and the other one is going out, which means it's clean. It cleans itself, right? You're gonna see the guy here, he's going to jump in, and you'll see how it is. It's just fun. Look at this one. Basically, they would, there you go. Basically, we wait for a, a big wave to come in, then we get that fresh water, then we start jumping inside. It's, it's deep, it's deep. That's why it's deep. That's why we call it Essis Bay, which means the deep area, the deep water term or area. checking out the mummy pool we decided to go to this place called PSJ strip the views guys that's beautiful like it's breathtaking This is our cultural heritage site. What do I mean about that? Most people come around here believing that they'll get healed. Like the first thing, VX, tilts, it takes fever away, or headache, like everything. They even put their feet there. If the, your feet is swollen, then that can heal. Then the other one is a, is a, is a mud. The mud, it's like a lotion, or it's like, um, it's a, it helps your skin. If you your oily skin or you have pimples, it helps to cleanse up your skin. Then up there, that small hole with the sulfur drinking water, that drinking water cleans up your system. You just drink that water, then you cleanse your system. Then the other one, then the other one is a, that big pool, pink pink water. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then the, the people believe that if you have something not right about you, your whole body, then you get inside there, then 
you'll get healed. Even you'll feel better. better. Might anyway, you follow me. even if there's some uh, some evil, evil, you know, evil, <laughs> those evil spirits, <laughs> things, yeah, then they believe that that will take all those that away. Oh. All right. <laughs> First thing, we get to the VIX. This is the hole I'm talking about. <coughs> Something like that metal VIX. Then I'll show you <coughs> how you inhale if you want to get healed. Then, here you go. This is how you do it. You, you just. Yeah. And you inhale. <coughs> Eh? Yeah, you just get in here, then you inhale. This is where the VIX is. Yeah, this is where the VIX is. Yeah. Actually, it's very strong. <laughs> if you get in, just power. You know, I saw people here the other day. I thought hey, I tried to be in there. Basically, it's, it's, a, it's a guess. Uh. You can't see it. You can just smell, smell it. it. Mm. Smell it. Go and your head must be left. No, it's not. Very strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable, eh? <laughs> it's like you uh uh Oh no way, you know, like a cool No hamba was the end. It's too much. It's like Right then, we're getting in. Like when you get inside there, maybe there will be candles, just because it's dark inside here. Like there's candles everywhere. Then, why you have candles here? Just because it's dark. And some other people are practicing their their own culture or tradition. Like they get inside here yeah, to to request all those kind of requests. Lucky things, their 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 ways must be open. Whatever they want, they would like to, to ask when they get here. And like we believe. We are believers. Cleansing water for everyone. Right, as you can see, like everyone is allowed to get back here, like any time. And this place, we believe that the pool, Silver Spring Pool, uh, pink water, that cleans your your body, like whatever is on your body, it cleans up. Then another thing is underneath this water. There's a black mud, and that black mud is doing the same thing. Like, as I said, your skin, if there is skin with a problem, that helps you. Yeah, this is natural thing, and you can see it's cold, but it's boiling. Is it boiling? Is it warm? It's cold, but it's boiling. Yes, it's cold, but it's boiling. You can see that. It's so basically, it's boiling, but it's and cold. it's cold. Yes, it's boiling, but it's cold. You can see. Which is something unbelievable. Something we never see you never see anywhere. Like one one tourist came around there, he said there's some boiling water somewhere, but it's hot. But the difference is this one is pink, first of first of all, which is something else. Secondly, it's boiling but it's still cold. Thirdly, 
This thing has the mud, the black mud under this water. You, you get the, the black mud, which means this thing is something else. It's totally different. You can go anywhere. You won't get this kind of thing. How deep is this? It's not deep, like everyone can get in here. It's not deep at all. To hear about it is not enough. You have to come around and see for yourself. So after that, then we said, okay, let's go and eat some traditional food. It was nice. Then we drove from um, Isnuka to Homestay, but I enjoyed the meat called <laughs> Umlekwa. Yeah. Now we're here, not Kwan. So it's a, it's actually a village too. Yeah, not Kwan, not Kwan the village. It's, um, it's just in the village too to see around. Basically now we're getting in Kwanomesa, this place called Kwanomesa, a homestay, where people. Uh, is it, a it, it is a homestay. Um, then today, she cooked food to us. Basically, our traditional food. Specific indigenous specifically. Oh, nice. Then now we are getting inside there and see with this beautiful tourist. See you inside. <laughs> you ready? Johnny? Yeah. I feel like cool. All right. Sipagati. This is Susnumisa. Uh, Papa, <laughs> Nekatile Apas nom lekwa Apas nom twani and then he gray figure in yale. This is my whole experience of Port St. John. I mean, I really enjoyed this place. Thank you again for to Eastern Cape Tourism for hosting me. I'll probably do this again because I think there's some locations we didn't get to see. So next time, I'm hoping to see that location. Yeah, so if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. You know, let's discuss. Tell me if you want to visit Port St. John's or if you always wanted to go to this place. Yeah. And I'll see my other videos. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The band is never gonna stop if it's controlling you. I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through. But I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls Cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off From the rest of the room I know that God